y'all. It is like four o'clock. I'm finally home from Sam's Club and Walmart. Um, I cut my last vlog off because it was just getting too long. But if you don't know, I was in the hospital with Mason until two this morning. So it's been a long day. He's got stomach bug really bad. Mom watched him for a few hours. She was already exposed to him last night. She was up at the hospital with me. Um, so she watched him for a few hours for me to get out and just get a little me time. So I went and got groceries. So we were like completely out of groceries at the house. And um, I went thrifting and found a few things. So I'm gonna show you Sam's Club and Walmart. I don't really have a meal plan. I just kind of winged it today. So I'm gonna try and put a, tell you the meal plan at the end of the video. And then I'll do the thrift haul in another video. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'm gonna show you Sam's first. So I think my total at Sam's was like $130 and I only go there every three or four months. The last time I went was back in like December, I believe, or November. Um, I picked up this 30 count or 36 count of string cheese. That was like $9. These Yo Plate Go-Gurts were $6 and I got a 32 count. I saw this. It was $10.82. I just figured a very easy dinner tonight. Um, and we can have it for breakfast again in the morning. And just be something easy on Mason's stomach. So, it's just some Belgian waffles. It came with two little syrup cups and strawberries and blueberries. Yeah, probably pr pricey. But I don't have to cook tonight. And like I said, he can have bread. Very simple on his stomach with some fruit. Hopefully, he'll start getting his energy back. He's getting a little bit back. But he's just been kind of snacking so I thought that'd be a good snacky dinner I got a four count of the chicken tenderloins it was cheaper than Walmart they're a pound per pack so there's four in there I got a four count of the unsalted butter I've been using unsalted butter to bake a lot so I just figured it'd be cheaper to pick it up there it was like seven bucks and it's like four or five bucks sometimes seven just for one little four count so there's four eight so there's 16 sticks all together I got a 36 count of their Apple and Eve juice. Mason really likes juice boxes. So there's 12 fruit punch, 12 apple, and 12 berry berry. I've already opened it and given him one. And the last little bit from Sam's, I picked up a thing of cashews with sea salt. I love those. Welch's fruit snacks, the kids like those. Cinnamon French toast for a quick breakfast this month or the next month and a half, two months um breaded okra normally we do fries or tots in the air fryer with like chicken nuggets but i thought we'd do this i like okra kids have never really tried it so we shall see gotten to the waffles already some chicken bites for chicken nuggets this month and a thing of fago for cooper's birthday party and then i got a case of dr pepper for myself all right now for walmart that was like 300 dollars, but the food was about 150 and then i got some clothing items and just some things we needed and then a lot of cooper's birthday stuff i still needed to get got another 12 count of eggs we go through eggs around here especially with bacon and like i do a lot of baking and then for breakfast we go through if it's all three of us we go through like six eggs at a time so just regular butter i think i had like one stick left so i like to use regular butter for certain things and then my bacon is mostly my unsalted some almond milk for mason i had got a thing of a gallon of regular one percent milk that we drink but it busted. That's the second gallon of milk that I've gotten in the last month from Walmart that's busted. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep buying milk at Walmart. I think I have a horrible luck with regular milk. I don't know if maybe their gallons are just more flimsy. I got a thing of just the great value yeast rolls. Those are just a good quick side item for dinner. Uncrustables, the kids like these, especially when we go to the park. It's just easy to throw in the car and by the time they're ready to eat it, it's thawed out. English muffins, I like to make breakfast sandwiches and throw them in the freezer. So we got another pack of that. And then cinnamon bagels, cinnamon raisin bagels. I haven't bought those in forever, but they're a good quick breakfast as well. Then I picked up some baby spring mix for the strawberry salad recipe. We have strawberries still, but we've been going through them so much lately. They've been like just the perfect sweet strawberry and look how big they are right now. So we've been going through strawberry. They're just in season and we usually try to get stuff that's in season. So we've got strawberries, got some in the fridge and blueberries already in the fridge, but we went ahead and got some more. Got some bananas. Um, if we don't eat these, I'm thinking I'm going to make a banana pudding because I did pick up some vanilla pudding mix to make a banana pudding and I already have um, whipped cream. Some applewood bacon just for breakfast. I'll have to throw in the freezer. Some cubed ham for my English muffin sandwiches. 
some beef stew meat. I didn't have any, so I thought it'd be good just for a quick crock pot meal. It was $9.58. Then I got five things of one pound tubes of the ground beef. We were out of ground beef, out of chicken, out of every meat you could think of. So it was a big meat stock up type of month. I picked up a freshetta bacon and pineapple pizza. It's got um, Canadian, basically ham on the pizza. I like that. Let me know in the comments below if you like pineapple and pineapple and ham on pizza. Because some people hate it, some people love it. I love it. I picked up the Brianna's Homestyle Rich Poppy Seed Dressing. That's one of the ingredients for the salad that I told y'all I was gonna make, that strawberry salad. Pasta sauce, I've got some noodles somewhere. Um, some Lucky Leaf Blueberry Organic Pie Filling. The organic was cheaper than the regular. I think I'm gonna make a vanilla blueberry cake and all you need is a white cake mix and some blueberry filling and some whipped cream and it is really, really good. I might make a recipe on that too. This was new, so I thought I would pick it up and try it. It looked really good. They had two different ones. They had a chocolate or something like that with caramel filling. And then they had this Pillsbury stuffed cookie kit. It is filled, oh well, I don't know. It's like a chocolate cookie filled with raspberry, but it says filled chocolate, but it, it also says flavored raspberry. It looks like it's raspberry on the inside. So we shall see, but it looked really good. Then they had a white cake mix. So that's what I got for the blueberry vanilla cake or vanilla blueberry cake. These were really good last time we had them and I picked them up at Dollar Tree last time. Um, I haven't seen them again, but if I see them at Dollar Tree again, I'm gonna pick them up because these are like three bucks a pack at Walmart and they're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Jello, we haven't had these in a while and the, I love the blue when they come out with those. And thought Mason would eat these being sick because I already opened it. He would not eat it, so I ended up eating it. Um, then some honey buns. The kids really like honey buns and I do too. Then I believe the last of the food items, I got a little thing of apple juice, some brown gravy mix, cause I'm gonna make hamburger steaks again. Celery for the guinea pigs. I picked this up in the baby aisle for Mason to try, this lesser evil cosmic rings, berry blast. I thought maybe him being sick, this would be something easy on his stomach. Some um, little applesauce pouches. He likes those when they have that flavor regular spaghetti i get him this because he's dairy free so he can't have dairy um so when we have like yogurt or cheese sticks i'll give him this or something a dairy free alternative lemon pudding again dairy free if you didn't know that that's the only flavor that's dairy free vegetable oil because it was almost out and a thing of bread i found the forgotten food bag in the car so luckily it wasn't cold um and then we'll get into household but let me show you the last little bag of food stuff and then I forgot that I did go to Walgreens to go get his medicine earlier and I got the Easter 75% off so after I get done with Walmart I'll show you that so I got three things of our roasted garlic mashed potatoes these are just a good side and sometimes just a main quick lunch or dinner um picked these up for Mason some wafflies oatmeal chocolate chip cocoa melon wheat snacks some pecans for that strawberry salad vanilla pudding I'll probably use that to make some banana pudding these organic Little Bellies Berry Yogurt Pick Me Sticks. These are um, dairy free as well. And then these little fancy packs, they're just edible glitter. I've seen everybody on TikTok and Facebook. These are like $4 and there's 10 in each. Um, I've already used two of these and really pretty. Um, I'm not a big drinker, but when I have family over, they like to drink. And so I'll make me a water or whatever I'm drinking and I'll add some glitter to feel a little fancy. But these would also be good for somebody that's like a recovering addict or alcoholic and just wants to feel a little important when everybody else is drinking. These are really cool. They're just adds a ton of glitter to your drink. All right, I picked up this Dr. Brown straw cup for Mason. A mainstays juicy watermelon candle that y'all this smells so good I was gonna get more than one but I went thrifting and to flea markets this weekend and got a ton of candles so y'all see that in another video it may be up after this video but I got a lot of good deals on candles so I limited myself to one almost out of band-aids I don't know what it is when it heats up outside and gets sunny and nice the kids need band-aids all the time and during the winter time they really don't need them so Bluey band-aids for the wind. Then these LED light-up torpedoes. I picked these up for Cooper's birthday and I have a few other things to show you for that. Then I needed a few new t-shirts. They didn't have many, but these were on clearance. So I went ahead and just picked them up. It said they were like $3 on clearance. So it says, I love talking to myself. She really gets me. 
And then this one was $3 as well on clearance. It said, I hate being perfect, but somebody has to do it. Then they had some two-piece pajama sets for $14, I believe. They had two other print, three other prints, and I was going to get the Rolling Stone one and the Bronco Ford one, um, but I just didn't get them today. But if I go back and they still have them in my size, I will definitely pick them up if this is comfortable. But I liked the Barbie movie. I mean, it wasn't my favorite, but I thought it was cute. And I just love all the Barbie logo clothing, especially pajamas. Super cute. It says Barbie Genuine Estimated 1959. And then it comes with cute little Barbie shorts. And then I'm having trouble finding Cooper a Ninja Turtle outfit. This is Ninja Turtle pajamas. But I'm hoping if I don't wash them for him to wear them for his party, they can go and he can get away with wearing it as an outfit because he said he needed a costume that was Ninja Turtle to wear for his birthday. Well, he has a Ninja Turtle costume, but he doesn't want to wear that. So, I got him this little outfit. It's pajamas, like I said, but I think just for the party without washing it, he'll be able to get away with wearing it. And then the last few items I got, my coffee pot has been leaking grind, so I have the worst trouble with coffee pots. Um, but this was like $10. I prefer a black coffee pot. I just think it's more sleek, but this will work. So I picked that up for like $10. I think it was like $9.98. Um, I picked up these wood chews for the guinea pigs. It was like under $2. This Mickey and Friends soccer goal set for Cooper's birthday, but I got it in mind for both of the kids to play with. I just think it's a lot of fun. We already have soccer balls. They just don't have a goal. So I thought that'd be a lot of fun for summer. Then the last thing I got for his birthday is this Mickey and Friends toss and catch game. It's like that Velcro type toy and it comes with the ball and you just throw it back and forth and you have to catch it on here. It just sticks. And this was like um, $6 and some change. I think I said that was like $14 and some change. Now let's move on. I have one little bag from Walgreens. So Mason was with me when we were picking this stuff up. Um, and so Mason got a blue baby shark little thing like this that lights up and sings. So they were half, or not half off, 75% off from Easter. So I got Cooper one and he can go ahead and have it. The Squishmallow slippers were $3 and some change. So I'm going to put these up for Cooper for either Christmas or something like that. Um, they didn't have any in Mason's size, but I always get them slippers for Christmas. Then I got these eggs. These were half off. I think they bring up for like a dollar. Um, it's Ninja Turtle. It comes with jelly beans and 16 stickers. They'll still be good come next Easter. They have like a three-year or four-year date out. I've already looked at the date on it. I can't find it now, but they'll still be good. Same with this one. Same thing. Um, so one of them will get one. They'll each get a big egg like that next year. And then this as well, it's got like a yeah, it don't expire until 2025, October 2025. So, this will still be good next Easter. Um, it's seven surprises in here. It's a gummy pop surprise. So, I don't know what it is, but they were, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep saying half off. It was 75% off. So, I'm going to put these up for Easter again next year.